the 9th to about the 15th century based on the holding of all land in the fiefdom or fee and the resulting relation of lord and vassal and characterized by homage, legal and military service of tenants and forfeiture, a political, economic and social order resembling the medieval system. Okay, now let's just stop right there. The IRS for the big mega banks who say they've overthrown Europe, they brag and all, I mean, hundreds of publications, they get up, all of them, Von Rumpy, Diamond, Jamie Diamond, and they brag, we conquered Europe, they have big dinners with caviar and giant private jets for each one of them, while they tell people that we shouldn't be able to have a car because of the carbon footprint, Prince Charles openly says old people shouldn't take hot baths because it spends too much power, but he literally has over 100 giant palaces, more than 50 aircraft, trains, you know, private trains, everything. You think I'm joking, just type in Prince Charles says we shouldn't take hot baths or showers for the earth. In fact, people won't believe it, look it up for me. Prince Charles says don't take a hot bath, it'll come up. This is, and, and you're like, well, that doesn't make sense, it's hypocritical. Of course it's hypocritical. They want you to learn to hate yourself. And I said I'd go to your calls, I'll go to them in the next segment. But the Republicans act like everybody who's rich is good, and, and anybody that talks bad about the rich, it's class warfare, they're envious, lazy scum. And the Democrats say anybody who makes money is evil, and it should all be paid to poor people. When they're all working for the same people. The real equation is real people that create new jobs and industries and ideas under the patent system and or, or art or literature or labor, whatever the case is, through blood, sweat, tears, and ingenuity and intelligence, build things. They're good and should be taxed at the lowest possible level because all the major studies, including the, the uh, Grace Commission report, remember this from Ronald Reagan, where they admit that Close to 100% of all income tax goes to private banks. I'm going to cover this more tomorrow. Point is, by the way, this isn't just the Grace Commission online. I got the Macmillan Publishing Company, 866 Third Avenue, New York, ISBN 0 02 074660 1. Guess who I got this from? A high level IRS person. Of course, I've seen this copied and seen it talked about on C-SPAN and read parts of it in articles. But this is the this is the admission that the tax system was going to destroy our industry and that it was really for big monopolies to shut down America. And that you could take all the middle class's money and it wouldn't run the country but for a few months. But that they were going to go ahead with it basically because it would give them total power and control. This is the big enchilada. So big, powerful elites are going after the free market and the little rich and the middle class, okay? And the ultra rich are allied with the dumbed down poor or people who've been disenfranchised, deindustrialized, or wounded in battle or, or injured or whatever it is. The dependents, you understand? And then the system can play the part of tear jerking, how it's taking care of all the poor sick people as it works as hard as it can to make sure you can't get a job, or the job you get makes you so poor, you're too busy trying to make money and can never in your hierarchy of needs get to a high enough level where you're secure to get involved politically. Social engineering is what it's called. Yeah, you watch us, New World Order, we're watching you. I wanna go to your phone calls now. And I know I said first time callers, but I'm glad that Jim from Missouri called in because he's a police officer. He says, and I think he sound incredible, who called in last week about what's already on the news, that they've got hundreds of giant armored vehicles and even tanks from the U.S. Army from Maryland rolling around all over the town. Regular Army, National Guard, all over the country. They've got weird military checkpoints run by the TSA. This is in the news. And I noticed that uh, YouTube's of the interview, because we're also you know filming it, got hundreds of thousands of views in different ways of him just being on a few minutes last week. And people were debating, oh, they're making up tanks in St. Louis. Folks, it's all over the local TV there. Oh, uh, this guy isn't a cop. Okay, well, let's just say he's not a cop. 
They tell people all the time, there will be an event in October, there will be in December. I've seen this for over a decade when they're doing these drills. They want to test and see what police are going to do, what military are going to do. I'm not quite sure why they do that. Well, I mean, I guess I am. It's, it's, it's to see how they react. Look, what we reported last week is now coming out in British news that indeed they're saying they do plan on there being a terror attack. It's Al-Qaeda flying planes into uh, the uh, Olympics. We were telling you that last week. Now it's in BBC, you name it today. But we're still the bad guys for having a whistleblower on talking about it. You see, this is what we're dealing with. So, so I think the caller is credible. And, and, and by the way, the next day, if, if your station only carries the Sunday show, we opened the phones to military and police and had more police from St. Louis call in and say, yeah, we're told something big's coming and confirmed what he was saying. And I mean police with radios going off in the background. I mean, you could tell when a cop calls into the show. Incidentally, I got pulled over by a nice police officer Friday going to visit my grandmother, and he was very nice and let me go. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, side issue. Let's just go ahead and uh, uh, go to Jim, and, and then I'm going to go to Queensland, uh, Australia. Uh, Daniel up next after that. Uh, but uh, Jim... Uh, again, the interview got seen by hundreds of thousands, even after millions heard it on the radio show. And the people didn't go look up that there's tanks rolling around in St. Louis. They didn't go look up uh, any of it. They, they, well, I mean, a small portion of them, but still said that nothing's even going on in St. Louis. What do you say to that? Alex, thanks for having me on, man. Um, it's funny that you say that. I had a list of four things I wanted to bring up with you real quick. And the first thing I wanted to say was my, my, my interview on your show. Um, I went to the YouTube, looked it up. I was hoping to see a bunch of info warriors talking about coming together and maybe using this information I'm giving them and trying to do something constructive with it. And instead, I see a bunch of either government-paid trolls on there saying, I'm faking that you put me up to this. Or I see a bunch of, you know, people who are awake, but they still don't want to be fully awake, and they want to say, okay, yeah, everything's real, but they're not going to bring down society. So that's great, because I want to talk to those people. I know you could want to talk about the health care, but just let me say this, and I'll get off. Um, Alex, those type of people, I can't wait to kick down their door. Because when I kick down their door, I know for sure they don't have guns. They don't have weapons, and those are the type of people that every day that I pull over a street patrol, they practically get out the car and get on their hands and knees and beg me not to give them a ticket or take them to jail. And let me tell you something. I'm a good guy, but there's a lot of my brethren that I work with that are just came back from Iraq that are in secret society, masons and all this kind of crap. And let me tell you something. When they kick down your door, they're not going to be like me. They're going to use your wife and your children, and they're going to do things to them that I can't even say on the radio show. So you should just, you know, just pretend I'm not real. That's fine. But you've been warned, and Alex has been saying stuff for 20 years. He's been right, but, you know, we're, we're, we're wackos. But just let me say these other but couple listen, things. But listen, listen, there's a reason they swarmed that video. They are paid trolls. It's admitted that billions with a B. I mean, I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I mean, that's in the Washington, Cass Sunstein. It was in the Washington Post six years ago. That Bush paid, what was it, $19 billion in one year for fake news and fake blogs? I mean, they were paying radio hosts a quarter million apiece just to, just to have federal takeover of schools with the No Child Left Behind, you know, Armstrong, Williams, all of it. So, I'm finish saying this, and I'll get off. Yeah, go ahead. I know you're busy. Um, I, I just want to finish up the story because I kind of broke down last time, and, I, and I'm sorry I did that. But no, I'm no, you've got it before. Um, Tell folks what's um, going on with the tanks right now. Yeah, right, Tell folks well, what you've been hearing. The, the, the neighborhood that I'm specifically, I've been practicing in, um, I don't know if you know this, but there's two big corporations in St. Louis, and I think they run St. Louis, and a lot of the pe people that occupy this neighborhood work at these corporations. Monsanto? And, and Anheuser-Busch. Monsanto and Anheuser-Busch. And uh, these executives work there. And not only, listen to this, I've been told that these neighborhoods that I'll be guarding, they probably won't even be occupied when this collapse because these people will be already shipped to a secure location. I think it's underground in the Merrimack Caverns, but hey, I'm just probably a conspiracy nut. Uh, the last thing, um, um, I just want to move to another point because the drill ended Friday. They're not doing that anymore, uh, but the tanks are still here, people. Um, Alan Watt, I think he should be on once a week, maybe, <laughs> I mean, just maybe for two segments. People need to hear you and Alan Watt go at it. I love your no, band. I hear you, but listen, and, the reason they, uh, um, the reason 
so many trolls. It was still about only 20%. I mean, because you'll see the votes, you know, 95% agree with us on, say, a YouTube, but then you'll see all the comments attacking us because they're paid. We have tracked their IP addresses on InfoWars because we can go in and, I mean, they don't even hide that it's out of big corporations, Department of Defense, foreign governments. I mean, it's come out that if you criticize Katrina, the Department of Defense would put 100 bloggers military on there attacking your site, including with cyber attacks. So again, we're not attacking the military, we're attacking the fact that it's being used domestically like this. They're scared of your phone call. That's why they were swarming and attacking that to make you feel like, because they're force multipliers, that you're alone. It's like Tokyo Rose. They would have the Japanese outnumbered 10 to 1, buried alive, and they'd still be playing Tokyo Rose saying the Marines had, you know, had lost and had failed. I mean, Japan had a bombs dropped on it, and Tokyo Rose was saying that you know that uh, the that uh, uh, that the U.S. was losing. So don't let the fact that the trolls squeak and squawk and do all of that is nothing. But let me just get an update uh, before we go to Australia here. Did you learn anything else? Because again, uh, just to recap, what did they say was going to happen in October? In October, the only thing I know is that there's going to be some type of event, and I don't know if the event's going to be in St. Louis or maybe it's going to be some kind of global event that's going to require us to patrol these neighborhoods, and with the neighborhoods, we're going to have air and ground support in conjunction with the local military here. There's a, something called um, Fort... Um, there's a, there's a real close army fort really close to us that's huge and that they can practice driving these tanks down, down the streets, and they don't need to practice driving down, you know, these... Urban civil, civil, no, these urban Listen, streets. Listen, the civil, uh, absolutely, sir, we posted uh, under your video the, the, the secretary of the army saying they're going to put regular combat troops in every city to pull triggers on citizens, and still people won't click the link. They say we're lying. They're delusional. To do that. That's why I said this country's dead, Alex, and I'm sorry to say that, but I mean, I mean, you try to tell people this information, and even the people that are awake, I mean, they want to think I'm fake. People, I'm not fake. I mean, if I, if I could give my badge number out, I would. It's but okay, you know what? That sir. Means we under, listen, we understand. I know you're frustrated. It's all right, okay? They'll, they'll believe you later. God bless, and I appreciate it. Now, I've seen this before with police and military, though, and call back any time, Jim. Good to hear from you. I've seen this over and over again. They are getting ready probably to have a war going with Syria and Iran by then. I mean, it's admittedly on the front burner. May happen, may not happen. I mean, I can't tell you how many times family I've got this in the military, including officers in the army. They're told, you are going to be going into Iran. You are going to be going, and it doesn't happen. So if there's a 50-50 they're going in, they're told, get ready, you're going. I mean, that's just how it is. That's like a fire department gets a call. They're told there's a fire. They're loaded up. They're going to a fire. It turns out to be a false alarm. You know, some kid, you know, prank called. Doesn't matter. They're still in the fire truck going down the road. So, again, I'm not saying anything's going to happen in October, but the global, listen, Larry Summers was in the Washington Post two weeks ago saying we're probably going to have a total global meltdown. No amount of trillions will prop up the derivatives that these scam artists created. Because you got a bunch of scam artists, uh, these big banks that were creating all these derivatives, they wanted to be the biggest dog in town. So Goldman Sachs, J.P. Morgan, Bank of America, all these big groups created individually hundreds of trillions apiece. Bank of America's got hundreds of trillions of made-up garbage. Uh, Goldman Sachs does, all of them. And, and so it will melt down. Something is going to happen. I don't know if it's going to be October or two years from now. They can kick this down the road a long time. But government isn't running around getting ready for martial law worldwide for nothing. Okay? Okay? This is real. Second hour, stay with us coming up. Okay, this is a short little five-minute segment. I want to mention a few of the other things we've got that we're going to come back and go to... Um, Daniel in Queensland, Australia. Then we'll go to Carl, Jason, Mike, Marsha, Angie, Aaron, Don, and others. But 